Hi guys, so this video is going to be my makeup collection. Um, <clears throat> I've recently moved my bedroom around and stuff and redecorated and got new furniture. Well, half new furniture, <laughs> I need to get the rest still. Um, so I've moved my makeup collection into the drawers, well into a drawer in my desk. I used to have them in like a little plastic thing which wasn't the best and it was messy and I had old makeup in there and stuff so I've cleaned it all out, I've chucked loads of stuff away um, so I've basically streamlined my makeup a lot so it might not, it probably will seem like I don't have a lot which I don't really because I've chucked most of it away um, so yeah I figured I might as well show it you when it's in the best condition it was going to be in because it's probably going to be all messy and like thrown in there in a couple of months so I figured I'd show it you now so yeah I'll get into it now and I hope you enjoy it um, so first of all, excuse my floor, um, I've took up the carpet and I need to get some laminate put down. So basically this is the little corner bit which is by my window. Um, I've got a desk here which I did myself. This was like brown and ugly looking and I painted it and um, decorated the drawers with like some rose paper and brought some doorknobs, uh, doorknobs? <laughs> Draw knobs. Um, and my chair, which I did myself as well. I just painted it pink and put some crushed velvet on the seat. And then I have my perfumes here, um, flowers, a photo frame, makeup brushes and a lamp. And these drawers are like um, nails, toiletries and underwears. So if I move that back there and take a seat. I've got my makeup in this one here. <coughs> Right, which isn't a lot. I've basically used um, boxes like this was a birthday box, then an old box which I don't use anymore, glossy boxes, and is it She Said Box or something? No, what's it called? I don't know, the blue glossy box version thing. So basically, this one is eye stuff. I've got um, some pigments and like my colour tattoos like laid out so you can see the colours. These are Barry, no, that's a Model Zone one, Barry M ones. Um, this one is a Bella Pierre cosmetics one, which was out of that, whatchamacallit, last year, advent calendar thing. <clears throat> then an e.l.f. one and my colour tattoos and, what is this, a Glamour doll eyeshadow, which I love. Maggie's trying to get in on the action. Get out, <laughs> run away. And then I have some a model zone eyeliner, mascara, and some like glittery liners, which I'm not sure if I'm gonna use to be honest. Then I have my primer potion and maybe in the rocket, which I need to finish off. Um two MAC eyeshadows, green smoke and satin tape, I believe. Um a little a uh, mascara sample, the YSL one, a bourgeois one I believe, and a Clinique one, and then my There Real, and then some like random eyeshadows here which I don't know if I'll use, and um, just some of the Elf Cream eyeshadows. Um, this one I used for my prom, I don't know why I never use it but I've still kept it. Then a bourgeois one and an MUA one. Sorry, my voice is going as I speak. <laughs> and then um, Miner's Eyeshadow Trio and a Stay Lauder um, duo, which is quite nice actually. It's like um, a beige and a taupey colour. <clears throat> then an accessorised mineralised one, which I love. I really like the accessorised products, I think they're really, really nice. What am I doing? See that? It's pretty. Then I have another browsing. Um, I have one in my makeup bag which isn't, it's like nearly, nearly finished. I'm just finishing off the powder bit. But my mother had one and she never used it so I've commandeered it off her. Then um, some the glowy lid stuff and my Inglot palette, palette at the bo bottom there. Um, I've put a few of my palettes in here but like only the <clears throat> sort of smallish nice ones. Then if you go onto the middle box, 
There is this is my lip stuff, which has all fallen over because I've opened the drawer too abruptly. Um, I don't. I've chucked away a lot of my um, lipsticks, which were like dried out and stuff. Same for my lip glosses. Like <laughs> I looked through them, and half of them were empty. So I don't even know why I kept them really. So I've got here um, Soap and Glory Extreme. Not Soap and Glory. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Sexy Mother Pucker. Extreme one. A So Susan like chubby stick thing. Um, MUA one. Another Soap and Glory one. Some misguided Alf. Barry M. Collection 2000, Barry M again, and some ALF like the lipstick colory things. What are they called? Those things there. Oh shit, this is hard when you're looking through a camera. Um, a glittery Barry M one, and like a little benefit tested thing. Um, then I have my lip balms back here. I've got a Balm Balm one. Um, uh, rose Vaselina, Caramel Vaseline, the aloe vera one and like a random one my sister got for me for Christmas which is like colourful. And some mirrors, a um, beauty blender which needs washing so I just take that out. And then lipsticks are over here. I need to get like a little separator so they don't keep falling over because it's really annoying me. Um, I've tried to put them colour up if I can. But that didn't really work out too well. Um, I've got some Barry M, um, Rimmel, Kate Moss one, my YSL one, which I love. What is this? That is a. Is that Elizabeth Arden? I don't know what that is. Uh, Mac one, um, Avon, Estee Lauder, um, what is this? Maybelline. I like this one, this one's really nice. Um, lip butter and yeah I don't have a lot of lip stuff anymore which is a bit of a bummer then if we go on to face stuff again I had like 500 million foundations that were like half full or like empty or dried out it was just terrible <laughs> so I checked them all away and only kept two that were like semi full um, so I've got the bourgeois flower perfection one which still has some left in it my phone is going off, and then some healthy mix, which um, again has some left in it, but I bought a Revlon colour stay, so I've just <laughs> thrown that one to the side. Then I have Match Perfection Concealer by Rimmel, which I quite like. Um, Bourgeois Concealer, I wouldn't recommend this, it's not the best, but it did the job, but just not very well. <laughs> it's not very good coverage. And then um, Benefits Fake It Up. <clears throat> uh, collection 2001 which is my favourite and a Rimmel wake me up one in the bottom and a benefit boying. Uh what else do we have here I'm trying to figure it out through my camera as opposed to actually looking in the drawer um, elf powder um, an enhanced highlighter and an MUA powder and then my bourgeois um, chocolate bronzer at the back uh, and Elizabeth Ardon that's a highlighter. I quite like this. I quite like this one actually. It's like a really sort of shimmery highlighter. <clears throat> then a So Susan blush stick, which I need to use. And then I have a So Susan highlighter in here, but the tube broke, so I popped it in this one. I have a Stay Matte sample. A um, Mousse foundation by L'Oreal which is quite nice, it's actually really quite nice but it's um, a little bit too dark for me so I'm going to save it for the summer. Then my e.l.f. blush which I really like, mineralised one, a MAC blush, um, an accessorised one, another accessorised one and my MAC honey light highlight powder. And in the back I've chucked my Benefits Feeling Dandy. Um, little set thing which has the lip glosses missing and stuff it's just like basically a blush then there's a so susan eyeshadow quad which i'm not too keen on but i'll keep it anyway um there's a blink and go one as well which is just like super colorful which i don't know when i'm ever going to use those 
Again, the Collection 2000 Pop Plastic Palette. I find this useful for um, the greens and the black and stuff, and maybe a hint of colour in the summer. And then my Naked Palette. And that is it for what is in my drawer. So it's pretty, um, what's it called? Reduced. Like there's not a lot left in here. So yeah, it's all like pretty reduced now. So there's not a lot of crap and it's all stuff that I can actually use as opposed to stuff that is just gonna sit there. Well, there's a few things that might sit there, but they probably will come in handy at some point. So <laughs> I'm gonna keep them anyway. So that is what is in that drawer. I hate closing this bad boy, it's like a little bit stiff. Then if I go back on my desk, um, I have a little piggy wiggy. And then I have my brushes. Um, again, with my brushes, if they were like ratty or tatty, I just threw them away. Um, I've just washed these, so they probably look a bit like sparse. Um, I have my Real Techniques one, um, some Royal and Nanical ones, which are really nice. Um, that one especially, I love this one, it's like a really compact um, brush, which I like to put colour on with. Uh, foundation brush, uh, an ALF Bamboo one, which again is really nice. A MAC 108, another ALF stippling brush. The dog is like looking out the window and crying and I don't know why. Uh, MAC, what is that, it's an angled one. One, two, seven, five. What is this? That is another Royal Nanical, I think. Then I have my eyebrow brush, which I do not know who this is by. Sorry, my camera just cut off. Um, then some ALF ones and a MAC. What is that? 107, the stippling one, which I, I dried it by my like radiator, and I don't know if it's burnt on the top. It's gone really weird. So I'm going to have to rewash that. Um, I've just got it in this little like florally holder here which was um a candle holder over christmas it had like frankincense and myrrh in or something and i thought it was really pretty so i just cleaned it out and chucked them in there i need to get another so i can um separate the face and eye brushes so they're not all like smushed together and yeah i'm in my pj bottoms what of it so um my bed's messy i do apologize i am going to leave you now um I haven't got the best collection in the world, there's not really a lot to there. I just don't see the point in buying tons if you're not, you're not even going to use it. You're not going to be able to use it because you're, um, it's going to go off or like out of date before you have a chance to fully use it all. Especially like eyeshadows and things like that. They really don't last that long so it's not worth buying tons is it really. Um, so yeah, I hope you liked it. Um, once I've got my room all sorted properly I will give you a room tour. I don't know if you can see my wallpaper in the background. I never had like a florally pretty girly bedroom when I was growing up. I had one when I was like really little like a bubble. Does anyone remember bubblegum girl? That's the bedroom I had. It was like pink and very childish but like after that I just had like blues and browns and stuff so I didn't have anything girly. So I'm just being a child again now and I'm having a girly bedroom and it's going to be amazing. <laughs> So yeah, I hope you like my makeup collection and like I said, I'll do a room tour as soon as I can and um, I'll see you soon. Bye!